Hey everybody, this is Christine with Black Raven Survival and today we're going to review the Bushbox Ultralight Stainless Steel Stove. in this little stuff sack. The stove weighs 82 grams, including stuff sack. And I just weighed it, so that is very accurate. This stove is pretty easy to put together once you get the hang of it, but it honestly does take a little finagling. The first time I put it together, there were a whole lot of swear words. And then I figured out the little niche. So you slide these together, and they're little grooves like that and then you have to hold it in one hand, kind of at its little triangle angle, and then triangle angle, that didn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. So then you just have to do that, kind of hold them all together, all three pieces, while, while you slide in everything else. And once you get the hang of this, it's actually not too bad, but the first time, voila, oh, actually did that pretty good that time. Uh, the first time was a big old mess and pieces were flying across the room, some on accident and some on purpose. So then your little piece here, you just kind of snap into place, you kind of wedge it in a little bit. You have to kind of bend the stove. This stove is really thin. That's what makes it so light because it's actually lighter than the titanium version, um, which is square and approximately the same dimensions other than being square, uh, but it, it actually weighs less than that and it's just because this metal is so thin, but it seems pretty durable. I mean, it is stainless steel, so I imagine it's gonna last. I'm also gonna go ahead and review on these Esbit tabs. They smell awful. They smell like a dirty, rotten crotch. I know that's vulgar, but that's just what they smell like. It's gross. So I'm just gonna pop this out and stick it in there. Grab my lighter. I'm gonna light from underneath because I already have my little holes in there and it's just easier than trying to fit this little lighter in there. And you do, I did find that you have to kind of hold the flame on it for just a little bit to get it to ignite. There it goes. Okay, it has caught. It takes a second to kind of get really going, but, and it says that they're supposed to burn for 12 to 13 minutes. But when I timed it, oh, speaking of timer. All right, because it's now going pretty good. We're gonna see how long this tab burns. Last time, we clocked it in at six minutes, which is not even close to the time that they say it's supposed to be in there. And we have the Tox uh, Titanium Pot, the 750 milliliter pot, and I have some homemade chili on there. Now, I don't notice the smell when burning. It's only when they're in the package. I, what I can smell is a, is a slight fume, just like a little chemical fume, kind of, um, almost kind of like kerosene, but not quite. I do smell that, but it's really subtle, really subtle. There's no smoke, there's zero smoke. And this is not a windy day, so I don't need a windshield or screen or anything like that. It seems to be doing okay. The tablet is about half size right now, and we are at two minutes and 31 seconds, so. I suspect we're not gonna get close to 12 minutes. And I mean, these are not supposed to age. They're not supposed to, they're supposed to store really well over time. They were in the original package, sealed. Um, I didn't see a date anywhere on them, but that isn't supposed to matter. They're supposed to burn just as well, you know, years and years and years out as they do when they're first manufactured. But um, I'm, I don't know, I'm not sure why mine are not lasting that long. Perhaps it's the, the holes in the screen, this bush box. Uh, you have the option to buy um, extra. You can buy, I think they've got two different grill plates at the bottom, and one is flat for burning wood. So you can actually, if you're wanting to stack wood in there and you don't want those large holes in the grill plate, you can get the flat one and burn it. Maybe that's why this is burning so quick. Maybe the, the air that's coming underneath is making it burn hotter than it would. We're at three minutes and 42 seconds, and the tablet is small. Ooh, it's bubbling. That's, didn't expect to see that so quick. That was um, really cold chili. 
and it's already starting to boil. I'm sure there's a nice cold spot in the center, so. So probably gonna take one more tab, but it is actually boiling pretty quickly. And uh, I did try to do a water test, a water boil test on the last tab, the, the first tab that I tried that only lasted six minutes. And all it was able to do was start to get the, the little bubbles at the bottom of the pot where it started to boil, and then the flame petered out, so water did too. All right, since that's almost out, and we are at five minutes and 14 seconds, it's gonna be another six minute tab. I'm just gonna go ahead for the sake of my chili, and because I'm hungry, I'm gonna go ahead and plop that in. Oh dear. Okay, clearly it makes sounds. There we go. I'll let that ignite it. But as of right now, I'm not overly impressed with the tablets. They're pretty convenient. Uh, since they do ignite quickly and they're lightweight, they don't weigh anything, you just throw them in your pack. But honestly, <laughs> for the smell and the fact that they're not burning as long as they should, I, uh, I don't know if it's worth it. I think I kind of rather just do wood. Just gather, gather dry wood and burn it in there. I mean, that just seems a lot simpler. Oh yeah, I can definitely hear it burning. Oh my. Nah. Eight minutes and 37 seconds, and of course the, the first tab is long gone, and the second tab is getting close to halfway, yeah. Uh, six minute tabs. Right. Well, at least my pack is. You know, I mean, I have, I've read other reviews on these tabs on Amazon before I purchased them, and lots of people said, yeah, they burn for 12 minutes, they burn for 13 minutes, so maybe they got fresher tabs, newer tabs, maybe they burned them on a flat, platform maybe it was less windy although it's not windy out here I don't know but mine are not lasting that long and I got them from Amazon um, and they they actually shipped from Germany these tabs are made in Germany and they shipped from Germany so I don't know I, I either got a dud or they just don't do what they're supposed to do I am impressed with the flame size though for such a small lightweight little tab you know, they don't weigh anything. They're like 14 grams a piece or something each tab. It's the, the large ones. Um, for what the, the amount of heat that they're able to put off, it's like 1,400 degrees. It, that's, that's fantastic for such a small little lightweight package. Yeah, that is a full rolling boil. But my chili's done. So two tabs, uh, what, about 28, I think I said they were 14 grams a piece, so that's 28 grams for two tabs to cook a meal. That's not so bad. You have to deal with the smell, that's an issue. And, um, and you have to deal with the short cook time. If you wanna cook more, you have to plan ahead and bring a lot more. But it'll boil chili, so not too bad. All right, so I stopped it when the flame went out. 12 minutes, 12 seconds. There it is. Chili is cooked, boiled, nice and hot from a very cold temperature. And um, it's done, two tabs. There you go. Now I'm gonna go eat. So overall, the Bushbox Ultralight Stainless Steel Stove performed exactly as you would expect it to and has continued to do so over the last three months. This compact, lightweight stove is the perfect complement to any hiking or camping pack. Its strong yet simple design makes it great for cooking, boiling, or even sterilizing your water. It's also extremely handy in those cases where there might be a fire ban in your area and you're unable to stack a full fire.